Hello and welcome back to the Setius Reviews. Here I have a Red Impchi M200 Optical Gaming Mouse. Get ready for battle! Haha, <laughs> right, let's open this thing up. Bam, bam, bam. Actually, I have um, something to say before I go on with this. I actually um, almost did a review on it and then I realized that um, it doesn't come with a driver, right? There's no driver. So, which usually indicates that uh, the mouse is plug and play. Well, it is plug and play, yes, it is. But the manual doesn't say anything about the software. It doesn't say that it's programmable. But uh, it actually is. I think it mentioned somewhere, well, I can't go through this anymore, but uh, I did check it. It didn't say anything about the driver or the software. It just said that the uh, Mac OS. And then it said in the brackets, not programmable. And then I was, wait, if it's not programmable on Mac, then it means it is programmable on Windows. And yes, indeed it is. The driver doesn't come with a package. You have to download it from redimp.com. I am going to show you this and I'm going to plug this in. But before I move on, this here is the breathing mode button, TPI button, mouse wheel, really nice. Click, 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 click. Uh, this uh, anti-slip thing. This is also rubbery, which is really nice. These are mouse 4 and 5 button, like back and forward. I believe you can program all this, but... Um, very simple, very uh, useful mouse for gaming. It's very comfortable. Slides really well, by the way. It's not like, you know, super slidey and, you know, it's... I like this kind of resistance. It's very uh, nice. Of course, it depends on, the, you know, the material you're sliding it on, but... Um, I think it's 4000 TPI max. I think this is the best they can do with the uh, optical sensor. So, uh, okay, something happened in here. Something came off. Oh, yeah, it has. Yep, it has these kind of things. So you might want to take these off before you use this mouse. See, I honestly don't think uh, it's necessary to put them in there. And I didn't even notice it until I was uh, moving it. And then it like kind of got stuck. But uh, okay, time to move on and connect it up to a laptop. Hokey tokey, let's go. Let's plug this in and block. Da da, look at that. I'm gonna try to cover the light a little bit. So the DPI changes also the light. It's like, uh, you know, a profile. That's what it is. It's like a profile button, not just a DPI button. And this here turns it off. You only have the breathing mode by the default, so uh, I'm not sure if you can change this, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to just install the software right now. So we go to um, redimp.com, enter, and did it. It's a bit slow, I don't know what's going on, but the products, uh, we have gaming mouse. They don't seem to have many uh, products at all. See more, and then from here, um, there we go, download. Uh, Installment driver. What? I never heard this. Uh, what is the difference between them? It says a uh, black and cobwebbing. It's like they, you know, see this one is black. I don't know what the difference is, but I <laughs> it should be just, you know, the um, looks of it. But okay, that's fine. It's only like uh, less than four megabytes. So let's uh, install this thing. Next, uh, next, next, install. Yeah. Uh, run the mouse software. Yeah, I could just use the, like I said, the screen recording, but that's fine. See, you can customize the stuff. Yep, you can even change the left click. That's pretty cool. See, back and forward button, it's uh, labeled RGB on off. Uh, what's this? Disable. What's this? Okay, yeah, that's the um, uh, DPI lock. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. You can change all this stuff. Uh, scrolling speed. Uh, double click speed advanced. Oh, yeah, that's the color. So you can change the colors uh, to whichever you want, just as I thought. It allows you to change each color to whatever you want. I'm not going to change that, but. Um, and yes, you can change the breathing mode in here. Let's try to um, uh, change, let's say, this one, purple one in here. Um, I want it a bit more purplish. Let's say, like so. Uh, hit OK. Uh, what is this? Uh, I don't actually want breathing steady. Uh, I don't know what steady is. Steady is a uh, constant on, I believe. Let's click apply. And let's check the mouse now if I change this. Whoops. Uh, that was purple one. 
Yep, see, that's steady mode. It doesn't uh, do the breathing thing. Now, all of them are steady. Okay, yeah. So that applies to all of the profiles. See, it's steady light on. That's that's how it works. But uh, it also supports macros in here. So you can make the macros in here. Well, this explains itself. You just click the new macro and then you name it, blah, blah, blah. And then you can, you know, start recording. You can record like whatever buttons you want in here and save this thing. And then if you press the button, then it uh, plays back the macro. But uh, that's how it works. So you can program it, guys. You just have to download the software, as you can see, and install it, obviously. But the, here you have this awesome uh, Red Imp GM200 gaming mouse. And I will see ya next time.